Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I know that this, the first game was only a few minutes long, and this one probably will be as well. I'm still trying to get a feel for it. Also, I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's kind of coming down today. So let's uh, go through my second uh, play of this game. Um, again, it's part of story mode and part uh, tutorial, I believe. Let's get through this. Um, this is the story of uh, our main character uh, meeting some other space marines. He's been fighting alone, if we remember correctly, so now he's teamed up. Um, so it looks like there's going to be some roleplay as well as just combat. Select one of the Necrons to bring up the unit into panel. In this panel, like the rest of the game, you can tap on icons to see what they mean. Tap on any of the icons to try it. Living Metal regenerates 10% of its max health at the start of each turn. This unit is also mechanical. Oh, that's right, Necrons are souls and machines. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, we can see everything about them. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So let's tap away. And um, one of these guys has the drop thing. And this guy just attacks. So we're going to let him do a ranged attack. Oh, I only attacked one guy. Clearly I've forgotten how to do this already. Put him there and attack that one. And then this guy has the thing where he can... It's just... It doesn't look like an attack. Yeah, we'll put him there. Oh, that's cool. So instead of moving and attacking, I just selected the Necron I wanted to attack, and it did the movement for me. I'm curious if that's optimized um, for best play, or if it just moves as close as possible. I detect no sign. We may be the only survivors. Oh no. I have faith. That guy has a lot of suit. Oh my goodness, that guy has a lot of suit. So we win. It's been so difficult the first couple of battles here. Um, my hope is that this game has the salamanders in it. I haven't done any research, which I guess I could have, but uh, I really want to play as a salamander, so I'm hoping they're available. Uh, get more challenging now, but you'll soon collect more characters. You'll start unlocking different game modes, enemies, and much more to defeating the final boss. Got it. So he leveled up. Let's go to your collection, so I'm guessing that's... Oh, okay, so cool. We'll be able to look at stuff here. Tap on Tiberius. Tap on his active ability. He wants me to upgrade, so I'm guessing this is where pay options will be in the future. With this stuff at the top, it looks like some kind of uh, currency. So I'm going to do what it's asking me to do, and then we'll dive into it later to take another look at it. Uh, upgrade to improve his stats. V. L10. I'm going to close this. Let's also upgrade his passive ability. So I guess if you wanted to focus on one character, it would be a way to go. Um, each time you unlock or upgrade a character, your power score increases. Ta-da! Now reach power 2. Go to the home screen. Oh, so we earned stuff for leveling up, so that's part of that currency that's at the top up here. One of these currencies is empty. Uh, oh, it looks like I got a person. Yep, cool. 
So we'll continue here. I'm not sure what all those things were, but we'll figure them out. And missions. So we claim this and get points. I wonder if that's this one here. No, it doesn't appear so. So I don't know what that was. Complete missions to receive rewards and progress. More information. When you're ready to play the next battle, go to the battle tab. Got it. But what I want to do is look at our people. Nope. There we go. Death Guard, Orcs, Templar, Taos. There's Space Wolves and Dark Angels. I guess I'll work toward the Space Wolves. Uh, find character shards to unlock. So there's not even a particular way to chase after them. And Dark Angels, there's one guy. I, I don't know either of those factions. There's Tau, Eldari, the Templars, Orcs, Death Guard, Legion, Necrons. Okay. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot to play here. Uh, not not anybody I want to do. That's okay. Let's see if we do by faction. Unlocked characters. Locked characters. By power. Oh, I see. It's saying that this is already by faction. This is saying by power. This is the strongest characters. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it wants me to go down here where the yellow button is. You'll unlock many more game modes for now. Let's go back to the campaign. So there, it is an, there is a uh, RPG element to it as well as combat. I don't know if there's PvP. We will get there. Here are the enemies you'll face in this battle. Bunch of Necrons. Got it. Tap the info button to find out how to gain medals. Oh, I see. So it's telling you not to lose. Okay. I, under I misunderstood the, the little gold and grays up here. I was like, I lose characters and earn points? But no, it's saying that no characters lost in battle you get maximum points um with each metal earned you gain a special one-time reward okay green badge means that you'll be able to apply this upgraded character after battle got it now let's go battle so there's these three gems up here see this uh i'm pushing on it there there we go energy okay so that's probably also a part of pay to play so it's time sensitive. Okay, I'm also just trying to figure out the cost of this game. So far, it's been fun and free. And if you watch any of my um, card games, you know that I like to focus on the free to play. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, and I can look at them. That guy hits for 17. 17. And our guys have. Oh, it hits for 55. Um, I forgot how to do the thing where he attacks from the sky. Oh, that was this guy. That's how I do it. Okay, that brings another guy, so we'll use him to finish this guy off. And use him and attack this guy. And 
and attack. So thankfully the Necrons are not that powerful. This guy will attack. And then with him, we'll attack here. And then with him, we'll attack both of them. He's our main guy, so we're gonna attack him. Yay! And I got my three medals. And you can play it again. Oh, okay. See, it's there. So you can play it again if you don't get all of the medals. That's cool. Okay, so... Um... You've just found an upgrade. Let's apply it. I'm guessing this is going to cost us stuff at the top. Apply the upgrade to increase his armor. 10 of these metals, which is here. Oops. There we go, which is there. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to take another break and come back to this. I uh, am not going to play any of this game without recording it. Um, so the next time I come back, the old guys will see what the next, uh, the next match is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.